This is, this is Dina from the Rhode Island Wave. I am here at Amato Limousine and I have Matthew Amato, the founder and owner of the company and one of his wonderful drivers, uh, Keith. And we're gonna talk a little bit about uh, the company and what he's got going on. So uh, Matthew, nice to meet you. Pleasure to meet you, thank you for being here. All right, so um, tell me a little bit about yourself. How long have you been doing this? So I've been doing this for approximately seven years now. I started working for another company out of Blackstone, Massachusetts. I realized, long story short, that there needed to be a higher threshold and standard of limousine services. After doing a quite a bit of traveling, I determined that the vehicles and some of the standards have greatly fallen in our industry unfortunately especially with an ever-changing world um, i have about 14 years experience in hospitality fine dining from the capitol grill to ocean house where there are very high standards of hospitality now slipping into the limousine industry i was able to determine that some of the standards have fallen and they could, a lot of companies would charge more money uh, for a standard that was subpar in my opinion hmm. so coming into that you know, I decided that we were going to have a lot of amazing vehicles at no additional cost to customers. Um, these vehicles are just one of, uh, you know, a few of the ones we have in our fleet here. I try to also remove the stigma from a lot of chauffeurs are over the age of 50 in our industry. And a lot of that has to do with good driving records, uh, but I also think that it's a little bit cliche. As you can see, our uniforms are also a little bit different. I like to modernize things a little bit. Um, the standard uniform for a chauffeur is black pants, black sh uh, jacket, and a white shirt with a black tie. Well, after many, many summers of sweating and customers seeing through our uniforms and stuff, I decided to modernize that, which gave us the idea of being able to put black with a new modern spin to it, which is gold. Gold and black are our company colors, and I agree do enjoy watching our new recruits and our new employees be able to walk around with pride with these uniforms. Um, a lot of what we do has to do with cosmetics, appeal, curb appeal, making sure our customers aren't just the person coming to us once and then leaving and not coming back. A lot of what we do is try to get customers to come back and stay with us. Um, I found it to be problematic with a lot of companies that all they want is to get that $100, that $200 for that airport run. Um, I think that's problematic. My service is a lifestyle brand. We are projecting a lifestyle brand. A lot of my employees are ambitious and motivated and eager to please our customers. We don't go anywhere without having Fiji water in our vehicles. We used to have Sarah Toga, but the uh, client said that they prefer Fiji, so we switched that. Um, almost all of our drivers, if not already qualified, are now qualified to conceal carry in multiple states, which add an extra level of protection within our company that is offered at no additional cost. We do work with another company in conjunction here that is local called Night Security. Night Security offers premier security protection detail that we work with them and these vehicles that you see over here to make sure that we provide adequate night security for them if they want to go clubbing with their friends or visit New York for a day. We have clients from all over. We have clients from Palm Beach, Florida, high-end VIPs from Motorola and a great deal of other companies that come directly to us. We might not be the biggest company but as one of the owners I can tell you that I am very enthralled that we are a small local company and that we work with people of all walks of life, all different budgets. We are not here to gouge customers. Um, one of my biggest things I hear a lot from customers is that we're the cheapest, but we're the best. And by cheap, that doesn't nice. mean that our vehicles and quality of service are less. It means that we're not trying to make that extra $200 off a customer and compete with our competition. I really do like to remain a part of the reservation system. I take almost all of the reservations myself. If I don't, one of my carefully vetted and trained managers do. I still also help a lot with the training process, which includes me taking them to Logan, taking them to get their uniforms fitted to make sure they're not baggy. Now, some people might not understand the importance of the look of a suit. I also teach all my employees how to tie their ties. We don't have clip-ons, we do everything official here. Now, if you come Let's over to Keith. Keith right here, 
you're going to see that he has the company lapel, which we do remove when we work with other companies. We do a lot of work with other companies to help them serve their clients as well, and we bring the same standards. You're also going to see that Keith is wearing a gold tie. All of my employees are fitted. I pay personally for their uniforms, and they all get a tie clip, nice silver tie clip and money fold after they've been with us for a few months as a thank you what they do. And as you can see, Keith has um, you know, a very slim fit to him uh, in his uniform. There's not a lot of excess fabric down here. And it's very important to me that my employees and our uniform represent what we stand for. Now, if you look to Keith's ear, you're gonna see an earpiece in there. This earpiece is used for communication purposes with dispatch and also myself and other managers. This eliminates the need for our employees to be on the cell phone and it also reduces risk and distracted driving. Um, furthermore, as I said before, all of our drivers conceal carry and are permitted to do so, which allows them to protect the passenger in the event if something happens, in the very unlikely event it happens. But again, in an ever-changing world, we like to give that extra something to our customers at no additional cost. On top of that, all of our vehicles are equipped with 4K front and back facing dash cams, which are monitored actively by me during the day, remotely log in. And again, it's just to provide a better and safer experience for our drivers, the people on the road and our clients. Wonderful. So just tell me uh, if, if I wanted to, or somebody wanted to go out a night on the town, they'd call and reserve the vehicle. Absolutely. So I know when I come out of the club, I'll be able to contact you and you'll come and absolutely get so typically what we do is we do an hourly as directed depending on the type of vehicle you would like for example the bmw i760's current going rate this is a hundred and eighty four thousand dollar car mm -hmm. we have three bmws in our fleet two of these right now um, these are all 2023's we have nothing older i believe than a 2019 mm -hmm. in our fleet um, the vehicles that we choose are specifically for extra leg room comfort. We don't take shortcuts with this stuff. Um, you know, if you want something like the BMW i760 like this, this is gonna run you about $100 an hour plus tip. So the average tip is about 20%. This vehicle is classy, has ear suspension. Um, I could tell you it's one of the smoothest rides that we've ever had uh, as far as a sedan goes. And this is one of the flagship vehicles. Inside the vehicle, if you'd like me to show you that, inside the vehicle there are four massaging chairs, 32 point massaging. Inside the vehicle you're going to see two iPads that are connected directly to the back of the chair which have Netflix, Hulu, Amazon. Um, Disney Plus, everything you can imagine. All of our vehicles in our fleet have um, 5G internet and 4G internet on board. Now we can change the mood here. If we want to relax, you can watch this. Now if you want personal, that's just so you can sleep in the back if you decide that you want to do that. And from these panels on the BMWs, you can control the music, you can control how loud it is, the temperature, um, you can make phone calls, you can change the displays, you can open the, all of the blinds, it is a panoramic that goes all the way to the front and back of the vehicle. Like I said, this is truly one of our flagship vehicles um, and is also a uh, center console charger in the middle in case you want to charge your phone. There's also additional ports. Um, the vehicles are all equipped with soft close and they grab it and they close. So there's no slamming, there's not a lot of noise. Um, again, these vehicles, this is one of our flagship uh, sedans. Now, if you're looking to go out for the night with a couple of friends, which we often have or go to the airport, we have what's called the Cadillac Escalade ESV Premium. This vehicle um, has the magnetic air ride. Um, they're also all equipped for bodyguard purposes. If you look at the front of the grill, you're gonna see that they are equipped. They're all equipped with flashing strobing lights, which we have permits for that allow for multiple vehicles to follow each other. Um, we also work with funeral homes as well in the event that families need additional vehicles um, to go out and mourn a loved one. Um, the vehicles are all extremely comfortable. We have three of these Cadillac Escalades. They're all out constantly. Air suspension, the tablets have been replaced with um, 
name brand tablets. So there's no longer car play and streaming to those. They're all interconnected. They have access to Netflix, Hulu, Amazon, all of them. Um, we also do other services, including days out to the beach. Um, we have actual mini coolers that ha go to negative 32 degrees, which allow you to pack for a fun day to go out. Or if you're going to travel to another state or go to New York for the day, we can accommodate that, pack your sandwiches, put lunch bags away and make sure that you have a great time and pack all the snacks you want with your family, friends, or even if you're going out to the Celtics game with your kids. This is the Yukon Denali. The Yukon Denali is a very classy vehicle. We occasionally get customers. Um, I'm going to go for the other side. Yeah. We occasionally get customers that want you know, something a little bit smaller. The Cadillac ESVs are designed for more luggage and more people and legroom. This vehicle is air ride suspension, which allows the vehicle to come up off the ground approximately one foot and allows the vehicle to have a better clearance and a smoother ride. Um, all the vehicles are equipped with 20% tinting all the way around the vehicles. The vehicles are always sprayed, detailed, clean and smogged for COVID-19 and disinfectant at the end of every day or the beginning of every day, depending on how late a vehicle could come back. Um, the Yukon Denali is actually one of my favorite vehicles. It's very classy, a very sleek looking car. Um, as mentioned before, all the vehicles are equipped with front and back dash cam. All right, so Keith, tell me a little bit, bit about yourself. So I'm um, from Warwick. Uh, I've lived in Rhode Island all my life, and uh, I never seen myself getting into a job like this before. Do you enjoy it? Oh, I do. It's very nice rides, very nice people. Uh, well, laboring wasn't wasn't my type of job. <laughs> okay. I liked uh, I like more of laying back, uh, meeting new people, and. Um, having more of a yearly type job instead of something that lays off. So, came to this job over the winter uh, through one of my friends and I stuck with it ever since. Something that I really liked. I enjoy cars, I enjoy driving. So, it's right down my alley. I have a great boss, so <laughs> <laughs> that helps out a lot. Um, it's not a very, uh, very demanding type job as long as you know what you're doing. Uh, paying attention to people's flights and their needs. Uh, it's a good, good job, job to, yeah, good job to stick with. So Matthew, are you looking for more drivers? We are constantly looking for more drivers. Um, one of the big things that we have an issue with sometimes is turnover. There are some people that can handle these jobs and some people that can't. Um, all I could say is that unlike a lot of other companies, I uniform my drivers. I don't make them go out and buy a lot of stuff up front. I work with them. I get my manager's business card to give them the equipment and time that they need to be trained and professionally use this equipment. Um, again, having been in this industry and being a manager, an employer in hospitality for many years, I know the importance of being a good leader and actually making it a family environment. I can't tell you how many times I bought pizza or taken them out. In fact, as recently as only a few weeks ago, uh, two of my employees took a trip to Tulum with me. Um, pretty much all expenses paid, I would say, uh, for two weeks. Um, it was an absolute blast. We had a great time together. Like I said, my employees are my family and we're a very integrated part of the community. The last three years we have donated over $10,000 every December for toy drives for police departments across the state. I'm truly a believer in being able to give back once we have an abundance of what we need. I work very closely with local nonprofits including veteran organizations. We offer a 10% discount to firefighters, police, EMTs, and veterans. We work with a lot with veteran organizations throughout the entire New England area and we are excited what the future holds for our company and other community-based programs that we're working with and we're eager to work with other limousine companies as well to hopefully raise the standard of what we do. I felt that our industry was kind of slipping away and I tried to bring back and revive our industry and modernize it. Um, you know, there's constantly reminders everywhere when I go to the airport when I travel myself and I pull up and I see limo companies with 
sport coats that don't match their suit coats, just different things. And I often come back and line my guys up and I was like, let's make sure everything's good. Let's make sure that you guys are all looking good because ultimately at the end of the day, I cannot tell you how many compliments we get on our uniforms, on the ties, on the fact that we're not wearing jeans to go pick you up from the airport. Like I said, we're not providing just a driving experience. We're providing a lifestyle brand and we want to be a part of your family and we want to be a part of our, your community and our community. This is very important to me. So this is over here. This is the wet vacs, dry vacs that we have. These are what the drivers will use to clean out all of the vehicles. Um, at the end of every day, this blows out all the dust and all the crap that can get in the vehicles on the all-weather mats. It makes it easier for them to clean and keep the appearance of that clean car with no dust anywhere. As you can see over here, right before you guys got here, Keith was detailing some of the vehicles with leather cleaner, armor all wipes, there's a, um, a spray for the rims, the carpets, upholsteries. And as we move further down here, you're gonna see, this is the mechanic and detailing bay that we have here. Um, all of our drivers know how to use our carpet cleaners and extractors. We have professional grade geared directly towards um, car wash and car wash uh, gear. We have all the stuff for uh, winter that's obviously coming and now going, hopefully. Um, we have special tools that disinfect the vehicles, including smoggers because of COVID-19. And I have personally have family members that have had unfortunate events uh, that they've caught COVID during the pandemic, understanding the importance of being able to keep our vehicles clean from one customer to the next is extremely important to me. Um, so we have all the tools and we use them to make sure the vehicles are spotless and flawless every day. We're constantly cleaning stuff. We're constantly keeping stuff up to date. If you look at some of the computers over here, uh, these computers, including the one in the hallway, is used to keep logs and stuff of maintenance and other things that need to get done or any incidents that might have happened, whether it be, you know, a, a dog ran across the road or something happens. Everything we keep detailed records on and things that might need to be done with the vehicles. Um, we, have, we don't have a mechanic right now, but we have all the basic tools that we need to make sure that these vehicles are kept in absolute great condition, including extremely expensive tablets and OBN readers. Whenever an issue pops up, my drivers automatically contact me. We look for the problem, we take a vehicle out of rotation, we immediately get it serviced. We do not push safety or anything off uh, until a day or two from now. Um, as soon as any issue, whether it's a dash cam's not working, uh, oil change needs to be done, those vehicles are immediately put into service by me and my men. Um, going further over here, my men do love their music, so we have speakers throughout our facility, again, geared towards making sure that everyone is kind of happy. They will enjoy music while they're detailing the vehicles. Uh, if you come further in here, this is the office space. Um, just watch your step right here. I'm gonna turn this on really quick, the lights. Might be that one. It's like a three-way switch. Yeah. So as you step into the office, we have four bathrooms on site. Really important that, you know, we have all the stuff we need to keep the facility clean. There are hand sanitizer pumps throughout the entire facility. Um, I have personally had these installed. These are state-of-the-art air purification systems that are designed to detect COVID and any other types of uh, bacteria that could be um, in the air, including air quality. Um, these are huge and key to keeping my employees safe and keeping the, the buildings safe. Again, all about keeping the, the, the building and the cars and the office space very clean. Um, now, if you walk into here, uh, this is our operations center. Uh, we usually have somebody here. Right now, we're still trying to figure out who's going to be here. This is a dispatch center. This is how we communicate with our drivers between this and the handheld devices. Now, if I call out one of the drivers right now like this, control to Keith. Keep the control. Keep the control. 
This is how we communicate and know where our drivers are at all times. Again, keeping them off their cell phones and making sure that they're aware of their surroundings and being able to dispatch if a customer calls us, we're able to say, hey, we have John Doe on the line. They just want to know if you could come a little bit early. We'll respond and talk to them and they say, well, only five minutes out. Fantastic, Mr. John. We're, we're, our driver's going to be there 15 minutes early. Um, from here, we're able to also keep track of all of our vehicles. We have a GPS system that shows us a layout of where all our vehicles are in New England at all time, in live time, every three to five seconds on average. Um, moving forward over into, the, this is the break room. Um, you know, my employees are extremely important to me. Uh, obviously, you know, again, air purification systems throughout the building. Um, we often have pizza. We're going to be doing a lot more family nights, board games, <laughs> bring girlfriends, wives, that type of stuff over. Um, you know, they're a little bit spoiled, I could say. They've got the PS5 in here and uh, a nice big TV to play video games should they choose. Uh, you know, I don't personally drink coffee, but you know, we have coffee makers and again, making sure that the employees are happy. Um, we do have a champagne fridge in the other room, which allows for our customers who are getting married or having anniversary nights to be able to truly have an experience, including the red carpet, uh, the champagne bucket, we do all of this stuff. We don't, again, we don't nickel and dime our customers. These are things we like to include and give to our customers uh, once they tell us it's a special occasion. And a lot of customers don't even expect it. And we'll bring a bottle of champagne and it will absolutely blow their mind. Mm. You know, it's little things in life that matters. This is our conference room where we do a lot of trainings. Um, and we have obviously game night, as you can see over here, we've got the Monopoly board. Uh, you know, trying to make sure my employees are very happy is extremely important to me. Um, we'll watch videos, uh, Netflix, Hulu, Amazon, so forth, um, when we're doing nothing but having downtime. And again, making sure that my men are on top of each other, that they have room to breathe. Uh, in the future, we're gonna be putting a pull-out beautiful bed and futon in there so they can sleep if they're on a long run back. Again, making sure that they are safe and that they're happy is extremely important to me. And I'm pretty sure all of them will tell you that. You know, I can, I'm too nice sometimes, I've been told. Walking this way, this is the assistant general manager's office. This is where some of our managers make phone calls and talk to clients and make sure that we're really getting a, a great feedback from travel agencies and other consumers and companies that we try to work with locally. And in here, obviously, is my office. Um, where you can find me a lot of the days. The busy guy. The busy guy running different things, making sure people are doing what they're supposed to, making sure people have lapels and, you know, have their ties and everything. Um, and just overall trying to make sure that everything is good. Um, I have an open door policy. My drivers call me 24 seven, quite literally, whenever they need something. So, um, you know, again, it's all about making sure that there's a friendly atmosphere here uh, and making sure that we're doing our best to uphold ourselves in the community. So if you're about to get married or graduate or just gone out for the night or you're, you just want to ride from the airport, who do we call? You call a model limousines at 401-618-4230. I personally handle all reservations as of right now as the owner. I enjoy interacting with our customers and I encourage you to contact us right now for a 10% discount on nights out, proms, and also airport transportation. We also work with corporate accounts as well. We love getting set rates set up for people who frequently travel. If you're traveling once or twice a month, we can get you extremely great rates at great pricing. Um, we have special accounts with a lot of different companies that we like to set in stone, especially if you travel a lot.